much. Um, I think we have time for maybe, let's say, three questions. Sure. Is that okay? And then we'll go do a book, a book assignment. Yeah. So yeah, let's say there like three questions, books, and then we'll. And if I have a question, um, I live in Peachtree Hills, and you mentioned that uh, Lila Ross Wilburn designs for Peachtree Hills. Mm -hmm. What are the resources that you suggest to document whether or not your house is a Lila Ross Wilburn? One of the things I, and I, and I hope this again will be a result of our meeting and, uh, and all, the, all the input, is that I would really love to see Peachtree Hills Civic Association, just like all the neighborhood associations, take upon themselves the job of organizing a historic survey, and you can get plenty of help from the State Department of Historic Preservation for this, um, the forms that you need to do. But you also have all these plan books, except for one, online. So you can actually do that research yourself now. And that's, that's how I would go about doing it. Uh, it's a lot easier than, you know, I started this before there was there were an internet. <laughs> yes. Actually, I have a list of builders. I didn't. I'm glad you brought it up. But uh, a lot of, again, if you go to the Atlanta History Center, um, you can, a lot of the drawings are for the builder. As, and some of, some of them are for the homeowner, but some of them are for the builder. So these, you could order these, uh, these books. And if you were a homeowner, you could order them. And if you were a builder, you could order them. And she knew the building business. <laughs> that was her incubator, you know. So she had, uh, and I have a list of names, and that is, again, another thing to, to follow up with. I'm just, uh, it's not going to be me. <laughs> I don't know what I can do at this point. <laughs> But I'll be happy to consult and to share. Yeah. Is there enough? Okay. Oh, yes. Uh, did she, do you have a record of plans that she drew that were not in the books? Because I have my parents' house plans written by her, architect number 29, but I don't think it came from a book. Well, it might not have come. Well, I. I don't know, but you can check it against the book to see. Does it have a plan number on it? Uh, no, it's no. It just says registered architect number 29. <laughs> yeah. yeah, well, you know, 
at, at some point she says in her plan books that she really doesn't want to do custom homes. Yeah. She would, of course, uh, you know, But it says probably. residence for J.J. Bush, Atlanta, Georgia, and it was in Druid Hills. Mm. And it's, you know, it's the whole set of plans. Yeah. And it's got her name on it. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> That's real. <laughs> <laughs> Well, you, that's when you have to do your own research. <laughs> Pull those things up on your iPad or whatever. Yeah, and start flipping through. I don't know what the style is, but you can pretty much, you know, when you have a, a photo of the, of the house, the front of the house, the facade, that's what you need, is you can flip through pretty fast because they have, each house has very significant details that you can look at and you can just pass through a whole bunch that don't look like that. Yes? Do you know where she actually lived in the Atlanta area? I was told she lived in a house I, I uh, um, come on to do it she lived, she lived on Adams Street. Abbott? Adams in, in Decatur. Oh, Adams. Yeah, yeah. Where is that the whole it was, time? It was, home? yes. Well, yes. She did. And, uh, the house is no longer there because it was on Adams. It was when the when the school there needed more land, they took down that that part of the, part of the, the houses on that street. But no, she lived in that house with her sister Llewellyn, who also was unmarried and was a professional woman. She was the head of the physical education department at Agnes Scott, and she had gone to Agnes Llewellyn, the little baby had gone to Agnes Scott College and then had gone to Teachers College in, in uh, New York, in Columbia. And um, so she came back and developed that whole department and she was also a great golfer. And golf was opening to women at that time, remember? Remember Babe D. Chikasun? Zaharias? Lots of trailblazing women around this time. And also now. Would we please give? Yeah.